In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me the option one. You can see here, I've just put the option, the title and the detailed text and you can add some icon to it. And when I click with the different color combination, it comes the option two, then the option three and the option four. And I've created a similar slide, but I've increased the width of this one. So it looks something like this. You can see here option one two three and four so again depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial I add a new slide and change the slide background to any light color background then go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle top corners rounded draw a rectangle top corners rounded something like this reduce the height maybe i'm going to keep this much shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select this with i mean fill this with a white color and you can see this small orange point just drag this outside so it becomes less curved at the corners then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and you can just give any color of your choice maybe i'm just going to give this a uh, gray color and send this to back and bring it more down so it looks kind of an outline from the top all right once this is done i'm going to select both of the shapes and press ctrl g to group it then press ctrl d to duplicate and change the color only the gray color one with some other color combination maybe i'm just going to give a blue color combination and send this to back and make sure that you need to align you should not keep like this or like this all right make sure it is properly aligned then i'm going to hold the ctrl shift key i'm going to add one more here all right and then for this also i'm going to give some different color and then send this to back all right and i'm going to add one more number four here and here also i'm going to give a kind of maybe a green color and then send this back as well all right so again if you want to adjust this one you can just reduce the size of this all right or you can just bring it down also it doesn't matter if it is goes beyond the slide area all right so again bring this down i'm going to bring this down and now i'm going to select by holding the shift key all these four shapes then go to the align and say distribute vertically so it's equal spaces created here the next thing is to give the text all right so for that go to insert shapes and i'm going to add a rectangle here just click it you can see here the same color which i'm going to use i have used i'm going to use the same here so first of all the gray color here shape outline make it no outline then go to insert text box and i'm going to say 01 option 01 i'm going to choose the font color as white make it bold increase the size and put it here all right center align and put it align it properly here and then go to insert shapes select one line and draw a line here by holding the shift key so that you get a straight line and give the color also as gray and you can increase the weight of the line all right it looks something like this and then you can add the title and the detailed text so go to insert text box i'm going to type title here make it bold and you can give the same color which we have used here for the gray and then go to insert text box here i'm going to use equals lorem within brackets one and i don't want this much large text if you want you can just keep it also not a problem give a light gray color and reduce the font size to maybe 14 or 16 depending on the requirement all right so you can see here i have done like this let me just arrange it properly and then on this side you can just add 
some icons so click on the icons in the insert tab and select the relevant icon from the icon list so okay so i'm just going to select this one click insert reduce the size to maybe 0.7 and again use the same color which we have used it and sorry and drag this one and put it here all right so it's very easy for me now i have to just copy the text here and before that one let me just select these objects and we will give a shadow effect for that go to the shape format you can see here the shape effect shadows and i'm selecting the shadow which is offset right okay now let me just group this only this part press ctrl g to group it and then hold the ctrl shift key and move it top like this you can see here and here also now let's change this to 2 this is 3 and this is 4 now it's time to change the color also here we i'm going to use the color which is the blue one here i'm going to use the orange color and the green color here all right the similarly you can just change the color for this as well so for example let me just select this one and graphic format graphic fill i'm going to give green here this will be orange this will be blue all right now it's time to change the icons you cannot just keep the same icons uh, across all the options so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this particular icon go to the graphic formats change graphics i'll say from icon and just you need to select the relevant icon again from this list maybe i'm going to choose this clock click insert you can see here it got changed so here also i'm going to do the same thing graphic formats change graphics from icon and here i'm going to choose which is maybe an apple and here also i'm going to choose a different icon now and let me just choose maybe this kind of a chinese or japanese house click insert so you can see here our titles have inserted the options and uh, we have added the text and the detailed text as well again if you want you can change the color of these as well okay so it looks something like this so when you're doing something you have to make sure that you do it properly all right and here also make it green all right so once this is done it's time to group these objects one more time so i'm going to select this one and this press ctrl g to group it why am i doing that one is to do the animation which will be much more easier for us so select this one and this one by holding the shift key press ctrl g it will come front again go to the shape format and send back okay similarly here also this one and this one press ctrl g to group it again send this to back and here and here ctrl g send this to back all right so it looks something like this now it's time to do the animation to do the animation what we need to do is go to the animation tab enable the animation pane i'm going to select all the objects by holding the shift key then i'm going to select the fly in object okay the animation and if you want you can just make all at on click so when you click only it will come then right mouse click select the effect options and i'm going to increase the bounce end here and click ok so it comes something like this so if i play when i click the first option comes then the second option the third option and the fourth option so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options or change the colors or icons uh, for this particular slide